Konnichiwa everyone, welcome back to the indie stream and wait, why does my voice sound like this? Me me mamo mu Raza, what did you do to my voice? Well, since the game is featuring a lot of the homage, the 80s, I decided to make your voice sound like you came from the 80s. You have dishonored me, now change it back! Raza, change his voice back, it's getting annoying. No! Okay, I'll fix you. Just shut down. Give us a moment. Hello? 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 Oh, good. My voice actually ma matches my lips. Good. Okay, let's talk about the game Galaxy. Or, I would like to call it a love letter to the 80s anime. Because it basically feels like an 80s anime. But th before we talk about the game, because I can only show you the trailers, the game has a little bit of a problem with our work, with our software equipment. While the trailer showing the actual game footage is doing a better job than anything, so it's more of our technology fault than theirs. As without the recording equipment, it actually moves as much as the gameplay trailer. This is all from Rasa's notes. I am afraid that this computer won't be able to do a game of Crisis. Do not joke about that, Rasa. That is trial by fire for most electronic equipment. As you play as the character Atac and destroying some robotic ships. Lucky there was no life on it. Hold it, hold it. Rasa, question. What is this? That is a donut. What is this? That is a corn dog. And this. Sandwich! I know something was wrong. Raza, why'd you program Raza to speak like four kids? What do you mean that I programmed to speak like he's from four kids? Does it make a difference? For God's sakes, four kids was the most evilest entertainment when it came to anime. Come on, they weren't pure evil, they were just thinking differently. Oh yeah, tell it to all the anime that got censored badly. You remember what they did to One Piece? Calm down, four kids wasn't that evil. Okay, give me one good thing they actually did. The Pokemon opening. Shut up and refix Rossi. Guys, before you program me, can I at least talk about the stuff inside of the box? Sure. One of the first items in this box is a... What is this? What is... So what the hell did you do this time? I didn't do anything. He malfunctioned looking like a cassette tape. Weird. I thought all hipsters know what a cassette tape is. Wait, all hipsters? What personality program did you give him? The one I'll drive you up the wall. Superficial. Oh, for Lord's sakes. Those what people don't know the difference between a cassette tape and an a tracks Rasa, how old are you? Mid-twenties. Now shut up. <laughs> So what, we're gonna just gonna leave a malfunctioning Rase? No, I'll reprogram him, give him a retro hipster attitude, so he knows what this old stuff is. Till then, just finish up the rest of the video. Fine, fine. Sorry about that everyone with the technical difficulties, but let's move on. Let's quickly talk about the game, all the goods and bads about it before I move on to the objects. Bright sides to it. Besides when Rase state this is a love letter to the 80s, you know though that 80s anime you watched on your VCR, when you pause the game, it looks like you're pausing a VCR and doing all of that technical stuff for the VCR. Hopefully it doesn't actually program the clock. <laughs> well, anyway, negatives. All I have is the flight control. Besides, they can pilot the game well in the trailers, when I do it, it feels like I'm on ice level. Everything is slippery and I'm crashing into things. Thank God you don't take damage for crashing into things, but when you get shot at. Thank you. But now after that, let's move on to the item. We also got ourselves the Indie Box stickers with the design of the Galaxy and a sticker of their mech holding the sword, which I love this, but I'm really sick and tired of the use of what mechs are mostly used for war style animes. The music section for this game is kind of weird because they actually gave us it in the style of a tape cassette. And when I mean tape cassette, I mean it's an actual tape cassette. 
Holy crap, this is so 80s. The game is in the shape of one of the enemy hammerheads that you fight in throughout the game that represents the Imperials. And thank god it's in the style of the USB that you play on the computer. For how 80s is with the cassette tape and all that other stuff, I would have thought it would have been some cartridges from the NES. <laughs> The next unique item on the list is what I would call the coolest one. They give us a figurine of basically our ship, while at the same time, they give us the mech that it transforms into. And it's also carrying a sword. Though one question is coming to mind, how come something so small as that ship turns into something so big like that? Maybe it's like Transformers. That's still science fiction bullcrap on that one. The miniature poster to this game is, first off, we get our cast of characters we're going to be seeking throughout the whole time, our mechs, and also the title with everything you need to learn about the game. Which, I kind of find funny, because this looks like something you'd see in an arcade cabinet. And, yeah, I am going to state this finally. I was never born in the 80s. And, like last month, IndieBox gave me more cards. First up is ATAC from Galax Z, which I kind of like the design. Next up is Bron I, Bron, I can't pronounce his name, I'm sorry. The male bear character from the game Amalo. One of the usual games I play the most when I'm not doing anything else. Sorry, I never played with the bear characters, I'm more of the wolf characters. Sorry about that. And they actually gave me two cards, and this time they put the codes on the back of the card, so there, you don't have to basically steal the codes off me. And there are actually two games. First up is Diver from the game Planet Diver. Uh, I have no clue anything about this game. And also, DSPF Squadron from Star Mazer. DSP. I have no clue. And lastly, the weirdest part, a piece of the, of the bigger puzzle. As you remember, the fist piece, they also gave me a horse piece. Well, a knight piece, if you want to be all chess piece describing. And this is all we got. So either in the fifth month in the future, we're going to give us the answer to what the game puzzle could be, or... This is actually Indie Box's coat of arms. I'm just taking a guess with the two of what they could be. So I just gotta wait for the next two months to see what the next two pieces are. And that is Galax Z. How I feel about it? Not bad of a game. I enjoy the little bit of the homage to 80s anime since I watched a lot of 80s animes as a child. And it kinda gives me all that whole nostalgic feel that you would play as a little kid. But since it's a space game, I'm really getting a little burnt out. And thank lord, because I can relax. Since Ross stays out cold, you're going to have to do the next one.